Well, what's up gang? Thanks for joining me on this particular day hike where a little bit of a storm came rolling in, spitting, and I figured it would be a perfect opportunity to talk to you about a new version of my most worn and loved outdoor research for Rossi hoodie. This model being the outdoor research for Rossi Anorak. And even though I love the style of this particular coat, I'm gonna give you three reasons why it is not as good for the outdoors and going on a day hike or exploring and adventuring as its cousin, the Ferrasi hoodie. So number one is the hood. Though it does come with a hood, and you zip that bad boy up, right there you can see it's a little boxy and it doesn't have any tension shock cord straps really cinch it down and just fits a little bit differently whereas the ferrasi hoodie uh, has those shock cord attachments so you can really cinch that thing down around your head if you need to and it just rides a little bit better i just like that feature um, with the shock cord adjustment in the original hoodie and uh it just kind of fits the head a little bit more naturally instead of this kind of boxed out frame that this model has. Number two are the side pockets. Now, this model has a button snap, which is kind of, you almost have to use two hands to get that open there uh, to get into your main pockets. And they are a pass-through set up in lots of space so that is nice but the original zipper pockets would have been great to have on this version that the hoodie has so that you wouldn't lose anything that you might throw in there it basically makes these only for your hands this is the only they're really good for and i don't feel comfortable throwing you know my keys uh my phone something like that in there particularly if i'm hiking or backpacking or you know working around camp because i might lose them as they just fall out because of the two little gaps. So if these had zippers instead, that would have been a huge plus. Now, obviously you do get your zipper pocket right here, your little kangaroo, you know, set up there. So you can do that with that pocket, but it would have been awesome to have three of those zipper pockets instead of just one and two button that just kind of act as a hand warmer and that's about it. And number three, one of the most important ones is fit. This doesn't really fit the same as the original Ferrasi hoodie. It seems a little bit boxier. Maybe that's a little bit because of the pocket. So you could maybe overlook that a little bit, but I love the little bit slimmer cut of the original hoodie. But the other major thing is in the sleeve length. The sleeve length is noticeably shorter. You can see there, my watch is exposed. Shake this thing out. You can see there, it's a good inch shorter on the sleeves. And on top of that, it just has this little bit of bungee and it doesn't seem as reinforced on the, um, what's it called? wrists, there we go, uh, as the original Ferrasi hoodie. And the newest versions, the one that you're seeing me rolling in in B-roll, uh, actually have thumb holes now. Th that one is an older one. Um, they have thumb holes on top of that, you know, it just adds to the versatility of the jacket where these don't really have that. Now this version is gonna come in about $100, whereas the hoodie is gonna be about 130. So we will have links for you guys in the description box below, not only for the Anoranic version, but also for the hoodie version. So you can kind of make a determination. There's lots of options that are available in both men's and women's and color combinations that you guys can take a look at. But before we go any further, I just wanna run a couple other data points for you that I experienced while I've been testing out this particular version. Okay, so this is like exactly what I feel the capability level of this jacket is. Uh, it's spitting, it's drizzling. Um, <clears throat> so, I mean, it's consistently coming down. You know, the ground is wet, the grass is wet. And it's beating up on the coat. So it's not soaking through really anywhere at this point. Um, so light drizzles where it has time to kind of like reflect it. I don't know, get it off the coat, um, it seems to work. It's when it starts to become a downpour or a very consistent amount of water on the coat that it really loses its capability. Now this is one of the great benefits to the Ferrasi material is that just a few moments ago, 10 minutes ago on the trail, right? It's, it's cool, the wind's blowing, the rain's coming. So I, I could easily kind of catch cold, my temperature could drop, you know, just not good stuff, right? And you want warmth. So then you put this coat on, then here 20 minutes later, I'm coming back to the car now, 
getting close to the road and the sun's coming out the little storm passed and now the temperature's going up you know 10 20 degrees and it's warm again but the ferocity material breathes and is it going to keep me as hot and clammy as just a straight up raincoat so it's kind of like this you got to pick your poison do you want that raincoat that you're going to be putting on and then shedding off again or do you want that jacket that could sh shrug off some moisture but will block the wind and give you um, warmth when you need it but then breathe when you need it as well so that this entire hike with pretty decent temperature swings and environmental changes um, I don't have to swap it on and off continuously which is really really nice well guys there you have it they can't all be winners am I going to be getting rid of this absolutely not it definitely has a style that I like it's great for just bombing around the RV, or just hanging out with the family, and maybe the weather's gonna be a little intermittent. And so there's definitely a place for the design, in my opinion. But if you were gonna ask me for me, my body type, and you know just what I am doing in my size, the features as well as the cut of the Ferrossi hoodie um, just make more sense to me for a day in the backcountry of actual adventuring. But I wanna hear from you guys. What do you guys think? Uh, do you feel like this design absolutely connects and you know makes sense for you and some of the features are actually better than the frosty hoodie or are you right there with me you know the frosty hoodie is the jam so i want to hear from you guys I want to know what your experience is um that's my mileage your mileage may vary so uh look forward to hearing from you guys appreciate your views uh, i encourage you to give a thumbs up share like this video uh, and until next time always remember stay equipped stay prepared We'll see you out there.